and I'm Witless. And I'm Errol. And we are back for our weekly reviews on movies and games and all sorts of stuff. Is Today... Wait, this is weekly? Yes, yes, remember? No, I didn't tell you, but it's a weekly review because we can put out <laughs> weekly stuff. So if I can just keep on coming, it would be awesome. Well, you really never leave. Well, it's the, it's the that's okay. I think we get more stuff done if I just stay here. So we it's went and great. saw a movie. We did see a we movie. Did. And what did we see? We saw a girl with a dragon tattoo. Yeah, a dragon ball tattoo. Did you like? Have you read the book? <laughs> no, I haven't read the book. I did see the Swedish version of the movie. Cool. So the original Swedish. And so. I, I read the book. So we all three. Two different So in other words, you can points. you can talk about Swedish things <laughs> and I can talk about from the book I'm aspect. Pretty sure that and it's we still both Swedish no matter well, what. Well yeah, but you saw it with Swedes. No, nope. the girl that was in the Swedish version was also in like Sherlock Holmes, right? Yeah, she was. So, so this that's is like cool. connected. We in can, a way. Just like yeah. the last one. This week is gonna be different. This is gonna be a weekly thing. I think I have a goal. Oh, we're all on for weekly! I know, oh. I have gonna be a weekly thing. I'm gonna put a limit on you, okay? I'm gonna give you a what? Three, three chances for tangents. So now three that, no! <laughs> I don't tangent. You tangent. You I go tangent. on about boys. You're going on about this now. This, what, is a, this counts as a tangent. This is not a tangent. Yes, it is. Okay, I, what do you mean? So three tangents per minute. Um, per minute? No, okay, no, 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 I'm doing that too. So we're talking about the Dragons of, of Toronto movie. And uh, yeah. we went, actually, we just went. Whatever. And uh, we saw a late showing. First off, the thing is like two and a half hours. Yeah, Meryl neglected to oh, research wow. that before. I didn't know it was that long. No, he didn't. I did. Because we went at the 10 20 show. Which wasn't my idea. That no, was, that I, was had, I, was, I had things like, to do. Like Errol's all, oh, I have a life. No, it's not like I had a life. It was like, well, I have. Why? You don't have a life? Don't you do all sorts of dating and things like that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she has a more busy life. That counts life. as a tangent. <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> tangent. Yeah, good thing your mom's not seeing this, eh? <laughs> she watches everything. Does she really? Yes. Oh, hi, man, with mom, witless mom. Anyway, okay, so we went to the movie. Yeah. It was at ten twenty, and so our biggest concern was getting on the subway on time because right. the movie was three hours. Three hours. So, so yeah, we it got was... out at one fifteen, and the thing closes at one twenty, and so we were just. Booting, yeah, booting to, to the get subway. To the subway. And but you don't care about subway logistics. Yeah. So what did you think in comparison to the book then? You know, I thought it was... I, I thought... I, actually, I thought it was uh, really... Um, I mean, and it was, it's kind of... It's, it's interesting watching a movie after you've seen the book. No, it's interesting watching a movie after you read the book. Because you know everything. I mean, you know yeah. all the things that is a surprise. It's true. Yeah. Are we gonna, no spoilers in this, right? We're not going to tell who the killer is. We're not going to tell who the killer is. We're not going to say who the killer is. Okay. It's, it, I'd be interested to hear someone's opinion who hadn't read the books or seen the original movie. Because to me... Um, I, well, it was obvious to me who the killer was, like, because I, I was looking for the clues. I mean, it's obvious to you. You know. Well, I'm just saying, like, but if you're if you're if you're looking for the okay, how are they gonna set up who the killer is, and you're looking for those setup clues, whether they would catch it or not, or whether whether they would think, oh, that's so obvious, it's this guy or girl. I, although at the same time, maybe they didn't really care because they just assumed everybody knew. You know, because it's like one of those things that everybody. I mean, like, there's a Swedish version, there's the books. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it wasn't maybe so a obvious. BBC like, version. The killer didn't come in. Is there a Swedish BB, like a SBC? I doubt it. They have their own TV. Broadcasting Corporation. So, Just oh, like, yeah, like oh, CBC, yeah. BBC, SBC. Except SBC. that they'd be a different, like, language. So maybe whatever. I count as tangent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's four by now. Yeah, no, okay, so we're getting back to the movie. Actually, what I wanted to know, yeah. because when I was watching it, they're they're going through stuff really fast. Yeah. Like, they're zipping through stuff. You'll see maybe um, something they read on a headline or something they yeah. read in a book. And it's book, so quick. And it's like up there for a millisecond, and then it's gone to something else. Not only is it up there for a millisecond, but I left my glasses at my friend's house. Oh, so, so you couldn't see I couldn't anything. even read. Did you know I was <laughs> with you at the time? Or it's like, oh, that reminds me of something else. So as you know... I mean, somebody did. Really gonna, you're really gonna do this? <laughs> yes, it's, it's, there is a very, very difficult, difficult scene. scene. It's yeah. a very, very difficult scene. And of, we were of abuse. and as a, as a like precursor to this, we were discussing. No, there's no precursor. Yeah, to this. we were at the end of the brutal rape scene. She laughs. Okay, I have a 
story for this, okay? So I'm watching this, like, oh. And then all of a sudden she starts to go, <laughs> Okay, he didn't hear the rest of it, okay? <laughs> she just starts giggling. Okay, so let me see. And, and this is me going, <laughs> Errol and I were talking about um, how one of both of our pet peeves are people who really spout out obvious things in movies, like talk during movies with like, Don't go in Don't there! Go in there! And, uh, and so we're sitting there watching this very uncomfortable scene, and uh, suddenly from behind me, and he doesn't hear it, but I did, <laughs> from behind me, the person sitting behind me was like, because it pans over, and it shows her backpack, and you just hear, Oh, I bet it's being taped! And I couldn't help it. Like, I was just like, <laughs> 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 and That's what I was laughing at. It just, it was just... It was I just time. met Amanda. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm getting to know her more. And I'm getting to know Errol more. And it's scary to know that she laughs at these things. I, I just told you. Um, other than that, I really liked this movie. I did like this movie. Um, it was... I was also impressed. I mean, it might be a bit long. Um, I didn't really feel yeah. that long, but there's a lot of uh, you know denouement in yeah, the mall. There was, yeah, there was too much denouement in the mall. There was too but much. But it is like, in the book. It is in the book. Is it? Because yes. that's a poorly paced book. That yeah. <laughs> and, and it just takes a long time for them to wrap it up. Like, well, if you read the, the sad thing about um, um, Dragons of Pern book here is the fact that at the very beginning of this book, if you read it. It's it's horrendously long, and it, the first chapter I was read I was on a plane reading this mm -hmm. on my iPod. You're like really shaking here. I'm sorry. Are that's, you like, that's, yeah. I'm a mover, I'm a shaker. I can't yes. I can't not move. You're bored. You're just anxious to talk again, aren't you? <laughs> so I'm talking about the the Dragon Ball. So what happens at the very beginning of the thing you're reading, and it's it, first of all there there it's about um. The political landscape and corporations. So, if you yeah. don't know anything at the very beginning, it talks on about Mikhail Bromskist, whatever his name is. Mikhail Bromskist. Anyway, and he's having problems with his company and how this other company is suing him. Yeah. And it goes on forever. Yeah. And it talks about all these other Swedish names, and so you're like assaulted with Swedish names, Swedish names of companies. And all these things, <laughs> and you are confused in yeah. the first chapter. And it of kind of ties book. in with your with your things go by so quickly. I yeah. mean, had I not seen the original movie, I might be a little more confused uh, this time around, uh, or if this was my first time seeing it. It gets much better after you go. You slog through all his yeah. personal. I really like the mystery. Life. Yeah, once the political corporate crap is done, and you actually get. Uh, the two characters, uh, the girl with the dragon tattoo, Elizabeth and uh, Mikhail, Mikhail uh, together. Yeah. Well, you were saying there's some subtle differences between the Swedish version movie and the. Very. Yeah. The ending for one, like how they, I think they just it worked for me as a movie in the American version. Um, Sorry, which one did you work for you better? What? Uh, I'm just thinking about how Lisbeth was angry. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. At the end, uh, yeah, there was a. There's a point in the Swedish movie where it ends, and it kind of ends on this happy-ish happy, note. Happy Swedish Or at least note. kind of with the neutral with note. With the chef and chickens. We're uh, <laughs> <laughs> racist. <laughs> how could you, how could I go this long without bringing up the Swedish chef? Seriously! Bork, okay. Bork, bork. Yeah, it ends, it end, and it ends on this uh, kind of happy note. And, and then the next movie, she kind of ignores uh, Mikhail for like the first, for mo for all of the yeah. movie, and mm -hmm. it didn't make sense to me because it seemed like, you know, they, they they got along in the first movie and they had the, they had chemistry. That's Lots chemistry. of it. This is no no. <laughs> this is chemistry. This is chemistry. And yeah, but at the end of the American movie, it actually ended up being. Like, it made How more it sense. How it ends in the book. How it ends in the book. And it makes more sense. And she's act like, they actually end on a much more sour note, and so it makes sense now as to why she ignores him for the entire second movie. And, uh... And the, and the funny thing is about the books, if you've ever, if you're going to read the books, even though we've kind of, like, spoiled all sorts of things for you, <laughs> is the way that the, it, 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 the story ends, the crime solving, all that yeah. sort of stuff ends, but then all of a sudden it will stop abruptly, and you're yeah. going, what? Well, yeah, I want to know what happens, really and then you, you want to see the next one. And then the second book, bamo, stops abruptly. And you're going, ah! <laughs> so you want to read the third one, and it's just like... That's how they catch you! Yeah, that's true. It's called a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they cliffed really well. I like Daniel Craig. 
Actually, I like him, you yeah. know, it's surprising because you know I know Daniel Craig is a Bond, and so you know, you know, you would expect him to go around beating people up, but he's not like that. Not at all. I read, he's just a journalist. Yeah, I read that actually he gained a bit of weight for this role because he's he wanted to remind people that he's not James Bond in this movie. Yeah. He's a journalist and he doesn't. And I think he does a good job of that, right? He doesn't seem overly tough. He doesn't he, seem. He does well with what he's given with the character. Yeah. And unfortunately, the character's a bit. And he, he, but. Nah. <laughs> yeah. So could we have more explanation of a nah? <laughs> There's not much there's, to him. There's not much to him. He's there to Pondering. he's there as a substitute for the audience to have things explained to him. Yeah. And the audience is figuring things out with him. And he has some development, but it's not a whole lot. And in the end actually I thought he was a jerk. And uh yeah. I was I was kinda yeah. with Elizabeth on this one. And you like uh Lisbeth as well? I, oh yeah, she did a great job. She does. Comparing the two of them, uh, I think they both did a really good job. I think. You mean the Swedish version of Lisbeth? And yeah, the, English the version? Swedish version of me, Lisbeth. I read a review on it. and I kind of agree with it. Lisbeth is just someone who you do not screw with, and that's kind of how the actress portrayed her in the Swedish version. So like, she's more angrier. Or? She had a much harder shell about her. Oh, like, there really? Was, oh, there okay. was really, and uh, the American version, Rooney Mara, I think, is the actress. She. I don't know. Um, she kind of showed a bit more of a vulnerability, I guess. Well, also at the same sort of time, I mean, you could tell that she had that toughness, but at the same sort of time, instead of being a hard exterior, mm -hmm. I think she more has more like a, she doesn't care what's around her exterior. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, she's mm -hmm. like more, not really oblivious, but it's like things happen around her and she doesn't care. No. So she's not trying to put on a tough front. No. It's, it's just, just who she is. It's just she was, who, yeah. Yeah, right? and I, I really enjoyed her performance. No, it's true. You know, so yeah. when she goes by and somebody offers her hand and she just walks in, it's yeah. not like she's trying to, because um, she's doing it because she's trying to be spiteful. She does yeah. it because she just doesn't care or notice and she just goes, right? Yeah, and so, exactly. No, I think she does a good job of that. No, yeah, it's... Yeah, especially given how she doesn't actually have that many lines. No. Except no. for when she's like... Hacking into somebody, and, and really I remember one time she's like typing in some sort of MySQL query into like Google. I didn't even know you could do that. You said what? What? Oh, uh, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's probably why. Maybe this is why the the murder is so obvious to you because yeah. there are so many characters, and even in the oh, book, yeah. you get confused. It's like okay, of which of these characters is getting more screen time? Oh! Just, I think it was the same in the first one, like, I don't know who any of these, I can't keep track of where they're going no. with these characters, and they'll come in and be who's like, Who's the daughter of whom, who's the It's like, so-and-so so hates me, and I'm like, who? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I actually like, though, one of the points that they bring in is, um, and I never considered this living in Canada, is that some of the characters are former Nazis. Yes, yeah, and that's true. It's always this, it's a very European thing, because I always forget, it's like, oh yeah, there's still people alive who are part of the Nazi party, and yeah. mm -hmm. uh, there's still issues with that, and normally, in, when it's in the States, it's always dealing with neo-Nazi stuff, but this one, it was, yeah, it was, there's an old Nazi in it, and that, that, that part kind of entertained me, actually. And Nazis entertain you! Well, no, it's just, everybody's <laughs> <laughs> taking my words, and you're twisting them around! Okay, entertaining was the wrong word to use. I found it intriguing. Intriguing. <laughs> anyway, it was a good movie. It was a good movie. It was a great movie. I uh, don't like Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> we can put that at the end of all your videos. <laughs> this is Witless, signing out. I, I don't, don't like, like Nazis. Nazis. <laughs> Now we're at the part of the review where we ask what Leif thinks. So Leif, what do you think? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And we'll, we'll join us next week. We'll have a hopefully a review that won't involve much of Nazis or rape. Right. Because she gets excited. Because I enjoyed rape. either. <laughs>